So we could have a breakthrough imminent right now for Pepe. We're going to dive into it in this video, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Had to clear my throat real quick. All right, so Pepe is uh, basically back up to the 2-0 level. We've been basically trending there all day. I want to take you inside this chart. There's also a couple other pieces of information. Uh, make sure you guys stick around later in the video. I've got two interesting stories uh, that are updates for today on Pepe. But I want to get right into the price action because I know that is what everybody's waiting for. Uh, and what everybody really wants to see. So I'm going to show you two different things that I'm looking at right now from kind of a combination of a fundamental and technical outlook here, all right? So one thing that we're looking at, this is the one-hour view, okay? As you can see, my signal here way back yesterday on Monday said possible retracement up. This was after this candle that painted yesterday, took us all the way down to the 15 level. We got the possible retracement up, we saw that all the way up to the two level, okay? But then from that point, look what's happened. We've met resistance. This is the hourly look, so I know it's not a huge time frame, but look at what's happened here throughout the last 24 hours. Sideways action. This is what I like to see when you're getting ready to make a play, right? What does this show us? You can also come down here and look at the RSI. The RSI has slowly been working its way back to what? 50. Let me scroll down. Uh, here, actually, here, let me move myself over here so you can see what I'm talking about here. See this RSI? See how it says 50 right here? Look where we're painting. We're painting right at that 50 level. So why is this important? Well, the buyers and sellers have somewhat met in the middle, at least to this point, right, from this chart so far. This should bode well. You could see it a little bit here even on this chart, on the Dex Tools chart. It's the hour by hour when you zoom out. Looks like you're starting to see some consolidation. We did not have a lot of this. This is the longest consolidation period we've seen since reaching our all-time highs. This is the longest consolidation we've seen since reaching our all-time highs. So this does bode well. I think now we're going to get to see what's going to happen next. Are we going to get a breakout or are we going to get a breakdown? We did have a little bit of a breakout right here. And we got back into the 3-4 actually on a, on a quick spike and then we came right back down on some bad overall news, right? But we didn't have a lot of consolidation here. We've had about a day here trending sideways. When things get boring, look out because things are about to get interesting more times than not. Speaking of interesting, I've got two other pieces of content for you in this video, so don't go anywhere. Make sure you guys are liking the video down below. The top exchange, one of the top exchanges has moved 3 trillion Pepe to an unknown wallet. So... We're going to talk about that a little bit, break it down. This is a whale alert transferred from KuCoin to an unknown wallet. So according to the post from Whale Alert, an AI Twitter account that tracks large crypto transactions uh, saw a staggering 3 trillion unit of Pepe coin valued at over 5.8 million has been moved from the KuCoin exchange to yet to be identified address. Okay. This implies that 3 trillion Pepe coins were moved from one KuCoin, uh, KuCoin wallet to another address under the control of the exchange. Now, this could be exchanges just moving funds around. This is something that happens pretty regularly. So I would probably lean toward that uh, as to what happened here as of right now. Okay. So this also got to talk about this briefly. Pepe Whale turns to ChatGPT created meme coin called Turbo. This is crazy. There's so many meme coins out there running like crazy. A large holder of Pepe uh, actually came up with by using OpenAI's ChatGPT language model for $69 called Turbo. A whale who has earned $14.5 trading Pepe has been buying Turbo since May 3rd, according to on-chain data analyzed by Look on the Chain. You can see Turbo is one of those cryptocurrencies that has been climbing as of late. $24 million of volume coming in, nearly an $80 million dollar uh, market cap right now. Uh, and full disclosure, I am not invested in turbo or not being paid to talk about it. I just thought it was fascinating that one of the Pepe whales decided to go ahead and create another meme coin. That just kind of shows you the environment we're in right now. It's just wild, right? But as goes, uh, as it goes for Pepe, I want to continue to see if this consolidation right here that we've been seeing in the past day or so, if this continues to play out and just maybe if we can break out from this trend and head upwards. We'll be tracking it for you. Make sure you guys are locked in right here to the channel. Appreciate you guys, as always, for stopping back. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.